G'day guys, Daniel from Unidan Engineering. Uh, today we're going to talk about our rapid tyre inflation system. So two things, we'll talk about why the rapid tyre inflation system and then secondly the correct operation of it. So why the rapid tyre inflation system? As we all know, when it comes to off-roading, tyre pressure is the key. If you, you can have the best four-wheel drive known to man, i.e. the Unimog, but if you've got your tyre pressures wrong, you're going to look like a numpty. You're just not going to be able to go the places the Unimog can go. So being able to put your tyres up and down, uh, pressure up and down quickly, is to me the, the best part about owning the Unimog. Uh, with a new one, press the button, as you're driving, tyre pressures go up and down. Unfortunately with these older ones, we don't have that luxury. So many, many years ago, we decided to, um, well, we were inspired by a trip to Fraser Island with a bunch of Unimog owners. And uh, when we had to change our tyre pressure, we were literally standing around for 45 minutes to an hour waiting for everybody to change their pressures. So we came up with this idea of what we call our rapid tyre inflation, a little bit of a spin-off of the central tyre inflation. But our rapid tyre inflation is a system that has two of these boxes, one on each side of the truck. Each box has two coil hoses. It has a pressure gauge, a tap for inflating and deflating, and a few other little key bonuses. If you want to, you can put a cigarette lighter or USBs here and then uh, some 50 amp Anderson plugs here for solar in and power out, et cetera, et cetera. So um, the system itself, we have done this over many, many years, but we've found that two and a half minutes from 80 PSI down to 20 PSI, all four corners, um, and inflating them between 12 to 15 minutes, just depending on the condition of your air system. So we could either go out the old way, tire chuck, stick in the, stick in the valve, 45 minutes to an hour, or two and a half minutes going down, 12 to 15 minutes going up. So not as good as the central tire inflation, but a damn, damn improvement on the, the old stick in the tire um, method. So I hope that explains a little bit about why the rapid tire inflation system. Next thing we're gonna do is talk about um, the correct operation of the, of the unit. Okay, so now we'll talk about the operation of the rapid tire inflation system. It's very, very simple, but there's a few little fundamentals there. If you get it wrong, it's gonna, um, not work correctly. So within our system comes with this little box, comes with a strata valve remover, four neato fittings, uh, and then some spare caps and strata valves if you do happen to lose some. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take off our caps and then put on the neato fitting. We'll do that front and rear. We're only going to do one side of the truck today because it'll give you an idea of how it works. What I like to do is just have these out ready in one hand. Take your strata valve out with the other. And now we have it ready to let our tires down. So if you come around here, we can see that our tire pressure is currently at about 65 PSI. If we turn this dial this way, we're now letting our tires down. Just a quick tip. If we're letting our tires down and we've got no pressure feeding, uh, back feeding onto the gauge, so you will actually have to turn the, the gauge off again to see where you're at. But that short uh, 10 seconds there took us down about 5 psi. So, uh, as I said, two and a half minutes to drop it down to 20 psi. Going back up again, there's a little safety feature here that we have to isolate the system from the truck's air system. So, we're just going to make sure that tap is turned on and then in reverse, we're going to turn the tap to inflate, and you can hear it in the background there, it's now pumping up the tyres. Uh, obviously, the capacity of these tanks is only very minimal, so you will have to have your engine running. We typically say to have between 14 and 1500 RPM uh, on your throttle stop, and that's going to give you that, that uh, flow rate that you need to pump them all back up again. Yeah. One very important thing to remember is so that we get an accurate reading, we've got 115 PSI gauge here. When these tanks are fully inflated, that's 18 bar, which is about 270 PSI. If we turn this tap on instantly, 
will spike this gauge and it's going to bend your needle around. So we don't want to do that. So as when you first start inflating your tyres, what you want to do is just bring the tap on very slowly and you'll see it come up here around that 100, 115. And then after about 10 or 15 seconds, it'll drop back down to whatever pressure's in your tyres. So then you can open the tap up fully. Once you've done that, um, you're away. So it's only when that first the tap's first initially cracked that you want to make sure you turn that tap on really, really slowly. All right, so we've just had a quick rest. We've come off Fraser Island. We've pumped our tyres back up 12 to 15 minutes. We've, we're all pumped back up again. So uh, our next thing is putting it all back in the box. So again, have your Strata valve prepared here. Don't be too concerned about that little bit of air. It's literally less than half a PSI you've just lost there. So not a big concern. Um, what we do here is feed the, the needle fitting back inside the, the coil. And it all goes back in there nicely. Then same again on the front. And these don't have to be done up super tight. So basically two finger tight, just give it a slight twist, go too hard and you'll snap it off in there and you'll be in a world of pain. Again, back needle fitting inside the coil. The cap's back on nice and secure. And just make sure we do turn this tap back off again to isolate the rapid tire inflation system from our truck's main air system. Best practice, put that back in the middle and put this back under your, sorry, take these caps, the neato fittings off. Caps back on. And then we have it, job's done. So I hope this information was useful. Um, again, I'm pretty sure you'll all see the benefit in it. Uh, it's been fantastic. We've had it on every one of our trucks since we invented it. And um, we've had many, many customers out there using it. And they're very, very happy with them. So thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye.